Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Hayden Christensen may have had a hard. Excuse me. Hayden Christensen may have had a hand in Samuel Jackson's Star Wars death, but the Darth Vader actor agrees with fan theories Mace Windu did not die. Anakin Skywalker, who was played by Christensen, pledges himself to the dark side teachings of the Sith Lord Palpatine, who was played by Ian McDermott. In Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, Serving Windu's hand before Darth Sidious seemingly throws the electrocuted mace to his death. <laughs> Excuse me, my allergies. But Jackson has argued that the powerful Jedi Master is still alive. Recently telling MTV News, there's a huge history of people with one hand returning in Star Wars. Asked about Jackson's theory by MTV News in an interview for the Obi-Wan Kenobi finale, Christensen responded, if Sam Jackson wants it to be true, I wouldn't want to disagree with that. <laughs> but McGregor, who starred opposite Jackson and Christensen in the Star Wars prequels, doubts even Windu could have survived his encounter with Paul Bettine in Revenge of the Sith. No, no, I don't think so. McGregor previously told Screen Rant about the popular fan theory that Windu is alive. Is he? No, 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 no. When it was pointed out that bounty hunter Boba Fett, who's played by Tamora Morrison, was similarly believed dead before his return in The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett, McGregor said, Anything is possible, it's not for me to say really. I can be cheating someone out of a sequel. No, I don't think so. I think he went out that window and it was a long way up. Jackson has long insisted Windu survived the seemingly fatal fall, written as such in creator George Lucas' script for Sith. As blue rays engulf his body, he is flung out the window and falls 20 stories to his death. No more screams, no more moans. Of course he is alive. Jedi can fall from amazing distances. Jackson told Entertainment Weekly in 2016, and there's a long history of one-handed Jedi, so why not? The actor also confirmed Lucas, who sold Lucasfilm to Disney in 2012, gave his blessings for Jackson to one day return to the Star Wars universe. George doesn't have anything to do with Star Wars anymore, he said. George is like, I'm okay with that. You could be alive. Starring Ewan McGregor, Moses Ingram, Rupert Friend, Joel Edgerton, Bonnie Peace, Indira Varma, Sun Kang, Grant Feely as young Luke Skywalker, Vivian Lyra Blair as young Leia Organa, and Hayden Christensen as Darth Vader. All six episodes of Star Wars, Obi-Wan Kenobi are now streaming on Disney+. Plus. And it's been a marvelous series, hasn't it? One of the best series that we've seen in a long time. Um, the acting of Owen McGregor as Obi-Wan Kenobi is second to none. Moses Ingram, who was dealing with a lot of backlash of racism and prejudice, she just came out there and just said, look here, I'm going to take the force by the throat and I'm going to run with this mother effer. And she did it. She did a great job as playing Reva, a conflicted Darth um, Inquisitor, which basically, I'm not going to say Darth, I mean, I meant to say just Inquisitor. But her heart really wasn't in it like that to just kill children. She could kill adults, she could kill women, she could kill grown men, she could kill anything but children. She had a chance to basically be on Vader's level if she would have took Luke out, but she said at the end, I couldn't do it. And of course, the series showed a cat and mouse game between Darth Vader and, of course, Obi-Wan Kenobi. And what we've seen, and even the fight that Darth Vader won, and then the second time they fought when he actually was winning at first, he basically showed a weakness, which was, I have to kill Kenobi, I have to hurt Kenobi. Because Anakin is so deep within him, 
that Anakin could just reappear anytime he wants. You know, Anakin was very, very um arrogant, very strong, and at times wouldn't think before acting. He just acted. And, and if you watch the Clone Wars, Anakin was never the same when um Ahsoka left. I, I believe if Ahsoka would never have left, I don't believe he would have went to the dark side. I think he would have been fine. I think the thing is, if Qui-Gon Jinn would have never died, I believe Qui-Gon Jinn would have taught him better than Obi-Wan. Not saying Obi-Wan isn't a great teacher. He's a phenomenal teacher. It's just that Qui-Gon has dabbled with going to the dark side before. Now, Mace, I mean, he's before I get to Mace Windu, he's dabbled in that and he could have taught Anakin about his feelings. He could have actually helped him because Qui-Gon Jinn didn't go by just the Jedi rule. He went by the light. See, people got to understand just because you have force abilities and you may go towards the light, that doesn't make you a Jedi. That just means you're in control of your force abilities and you could control the light, which then you could be a great Jedi as well. So, Mace Windu, would I want to see him back? Absolutely. I would love to see him back. I would do it in the second season of Kenobi. Hey, you know, Kenobi could be going through something and then all of a sudden Mace come out of nowhere and handle his business. Or we could see Mace Windu on Boba Fett or something. Hey, anything is possible. You know. Anything is possible. So, um, I believe they could write him back in it. It's not hard. You could you could do that. But I would love to see him on the Book of Boba Fett, or, well, no, that's too far down the line. Not the Book of Boba Fett, but the Kenobi season two. That would be right to do. Yeah, I'm thinking way too far ahead. Um, I would want to see him in Kenobi season two which would probably be 10 years before um, New Hope because this Kenobi series was 20 years before um, the New Hope. Because think about it. 10 years passed. Well, it's 10 years from the New Hope because remember, it was total 20 years before New Hope. And then you had, of course... Kenobi come out doing what he does um you know anything's possible but um but Maze Windu I think the character is dead but if you do want to bring him back I believe they should bring him back during Kenobi you know so let me know what you guys think in the comment section thank you for listening like comment subscribe share this hit the notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications and if you guys love what you hear, you could go to my description box, hit that Cash App link. You could donate whatever your hearts desire. You guys can also um, super chat when the video is live or premiering. And you guys can also um, let me see what else. Oh yeah, and then if you can't do that, you guys can leave a super thanks. So thank you guys for listening. We out, Deezy.